Hi, it's Nick Jervis from Samsung Consulting, and this video for marketing for solicitors is to show you to set up, how to set up a webinar. Um, so you go to gotomeeting.com and log in in the normal way, and you'll be presented with a screen which shows you your meetings and your webinars. Click on My Webinars, um, and then it shows you any history of webinars um, that you've got coming up. But if you want to schedule a new webinar, if you've not done any before, click on Schedule a Webinar. and this will take you through the setup process for getting your webinar from running. So if you've already done one before you can sch schedule a similar webinar to one you've run before but I'll do this as if it's a new one so you can see exactly what you do. Test webinar for M4S members. So you give it a title and um, you give it a description Next thing is, is to choose the date you want to run it, and uh, why not? Let's go with Christmas Day, uh, choose the time, and this is your time zone, um, so you don't need to change that, it's already selected London for you. If you want to do a monthly webinar, if you're promoting to your clients every single month, you can click Recur, and, and I've got a monthly webinar that repeats for new members to my uh, free marketing list. Um, audio, uh, just leave it on the standard settings that it comes with. Um, use built-in audio conferencing because it works. If you want someone else from your firm to be on the webinar as well, you can add their details there, put their name, give their email address and they'll be added. Um, require webinar password, don't include that, it just makes the process a bit more difficult for um, clients. So save and continue. And the next bit is you can upload your logo um, so that they can see which firm they're talking to and you know by this point if they're registering you've already done the sales well so whereas my normal advice is don't put your logo at the top of anything uh, on this occasion you can because they've signed up for your logo um, you can choose the layout I normally just choose the, the basic I don't really want a PR or sales the pretty one so just go basic and it will just have your logo the title of the logo and description and how they get running uh, their webinar waiting room Again, just go for that to be very plain. Um, this is definitely the point that you could over-design things. Put in your name, the main presenter name, title, and company name. Um, you can put up your image, which I normally do, again, because, as we all know, marketing is a, a personal thing. Um, and you can show a marketing message, which might be something like, um, I will be with you shortly. Please turn off phones ready um, you can preview the, the waiting room so that you can see what they'll see so if you just click on that I haven't uploaded the logo or my image but there you go it puts the title in tells them what the call in details and tells them who's going to be speaking with them save and continue um, and then these are the, the information you want from your um, attendees. So what I'd say here is, you know, we're trying to, we don't want to put people off. Um, so first name, last name, email address is probably enough. Untick the rest of them, especially the American parts of it. If you really want a phone number, if you want to follow up, I'd say I'd, I'd be more inclined to get as little as possible now or during the webinar give enough value that they want to contact you at the end or give you um, permission to follow up. Um, so registration, you take that down to that, you can add another question if you want, so I might sometimes put in their practice name just to get a bit more information. Um, registrants will receive an email with information on joining the webinar um, automatically, so that's fine. So they get added and then that's it, you have set up a webinar, click on save and email me the invitation and step one is done. So um, that's all prepared, you can see it then shows in your webinars, upcoming webinars. Um, and I'll end the video now, but I'll come back and show you some other settings you need to change. That's the basic setup for a webinar. If you want to email that to anybody, you can click email the invitation, um, and that will send you a copy of it. You can then forward that to anyone that you want to invite. Um, and the only other thing you might want to do is just, if you click the plus next to it, you'll see you can also invite people to join just by copying the link that's created as soon as you created a webinar and if I paste that into a, a new box you'll see there you go so you could send that link out to people and they'd automatically be added to your webinar list so that's video one showing you how to set up a webinar